Hello dear ones, Father Peter John coming to you from All Saints Orthodox Church, Bloomington, Indiana. Christ is in our midst. I want to take a break today from talking about the um, Fools for Christ because today is the feast of a very special saint in the Orthodox Church. Not that all saints aren't special, but this one's pretty amazing. Um, his story is astounding, actually. It's this great story of conversion. Um, not only conversion to Christianity, but the conversion of the heart in a way that is just dramatic. It's radical. I'm talking about St. Moses the Ethiopian. He lived in the 4th century, and uh, he was actually the servant of an Egyptian government official. But when he was suspected of stealing and murdering, uh, that government official released him from his duties and sent him on his way. Um, so Moses, he was you can see from the icon, he was actually a very large, very daunting figure, very strong. And he uh, quickly became the leader of a group of bandits. They were thieves and uh, they terrorized uh, the Nile area and um, Upper Egypt with uh, violence. And, and they were just, they were a bad group of people. They, they did a lot of bad stuff. Well, one time Moses was trying to rob a certain place and there was a dog barking. And, and so as the dog was barking, it alerted the people there that uh, there was someone coming. And so Moses, swore vengeance. He was going to get vengeance on the owner of that dog for, for uh, fo foiling his plan. Well, so he went, this, uh, Moses did, another night, and he put his knife in his teeth, you know, and he was swimming through the river. And as he approaches the hut where the man, the owner of this dog, lived, well, the dog started barking again. And so the owner uh, of the dog ran away and fled. Well, Moses was ticked off. So he grabbed a couple of this guy's sheep, tucked them under his arms, and then started walking away. But what happened was, you know, when the neighbors find out there's stuff going on, they want to get rid of the problem. And so there was kind of a group of people who began to hunt Moses. And so Moses took off for the desert. And he came upon this monastery, this monastic community called Sketis, uh, outside of Alexandria. And he um, went there to hide. And while he was there hiding for his life, what he discovered was he was, he was overwhelmed with the peace of these brothers, um, with their simple way of life, their simplicity, their satisfaction with um, the, the the lack of possessions. They, they were just filled with God and he saw that and he wanted it. You see, people are always looking. They're always watching us. They want to know, is our Christianity real? They want to know if Christ is abiding in our hearts. They want to know if we have been changed by Christ or if we are trying to create God in our own image. <clears throat> There's my soapbox. Anyway, that's what happened to Moses. He sees these monks and he says, this is what I want. So he's baptized and he becomes a monk. And, uh, and he was truly being transformed. It was, uh, it was a wonderful time, but <clears throat> he's in his cell one night and these robbers come in to his cell, right? Now Moses, again, he's massive, right? He's huge and he'd lived this life of violence. Um, and here he is now being put to the test. As he sees these robbers, they come in, they want to take some stuff. And what does he do? Well, he doesn't want to hurt them. So he just overpowers them and ties them all up. I don't know how many there were, two or three. Um, and he takes them, drags them to the church and assembles the brothers. And he says, brothers, it's, it's not proper for me. I don't want to hurt these, these, these robbers. But what do you want me to do with them? You decide. What do you want to do with them? Well, the, the uh, monks were impressed and the robbers were so impressed that they converted and became Christians and became monks at the monastery. Great story. Um, true story. Well, so St. Moses, again, he was, he was a wonderful, wonderful human being who was always being transformed by the light and presence of Christ. Um, but he, he got a little bit discouraged. I, I get the, um, the impression he was a little bit of a perfectionist because he, he was frustrated, became discouraged and frustrated that he wasn't perfect. Well, his abbot, whose name was Isidore, Abbot Isidore, took him up on the roof of the monastery uh, in, in the early morning hours before the sun rose, and it was dark. And they sat there together, and the sun began to rise very slowly, as it does, you know, if you watch the sunrise, you know sometimes it just comes up a little at a time, and the rays of sun were beginning to dawn. And after the sun had risen, finally, Abba Isidore looks at, at Moses, the monk, and says to him, he says, as the rays of the sun take time to dispel the darkness of the night, so also it takes time to become perfected. 
And so Moses was, was blessed, by, edified by this. Um, not too, uh, too long after that, Moses was ordained a priest. It was kind of against his will. He wasn't seeking it. He wasn't seeking that kind of a leadership position. Um, he certainly did not feel worthy of it, but he was ordained a priest. And um, so uh, there's this time then that, that uh, one of the brothers in the monastery was caught in a certain sin. We don't know what it was. We don't need to know what it was. We're not told what it was. But all the, the monks went to the church and they called Moses and they said, come to the church because uh, this brother was caught in sin and we want to talk about what to do with him. Well, Mo Moses didn't show up. So they sent somebody to go get him and they said, bring Moses here. Bring Father Moses. Well, Moses came and he said, they said, how come you didn't come, you know? And he came and he had this basket on his on his shoulder and all of this sand it was filled with sand and the sand is running out of the basket just leaving this trail you can imagine it down the hall of the monastery into the church and there's this sand that's coming out of the basket and he says my sins run out behind me and I don't even see them and here I am coming to judge my brother well all the monks were humbled by this they remember the words of Christ, you know, see your own sins before, remove that plank out of your own eye before you remove the sliver out of your brother's eye. And so they let the brother go in peace. They all forgave him. Well, uh, Moses was eventually um, sent to a different place to be the abbot of a monastery. And uh, he served there very faithfully. His monks loved him. They, when he was about 75 years old and he was at the abbot of this monastery, they uh, received word that there was a, a group of bandits who were coming and they were coming to uh, terrorize the monastery. And what happened then was that when, um, when Moses heard that they were coming, he told all of the other monks, he said, he said, I want you to leave. They said, no, 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 we will stay and fight. He says, no, I want you to leave the monastery. And he said, it's fitting for me. I was a violent man. It's fitting for me if I die a violent death, but you should leave. Well, seven of the monks stayed with him and they were attacked by the bandits and they were all martyred for Christ and gave up their, uh, their breath for their Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Through the prayers of St. Moses the Ethiopian, whom we celebrate today, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Christ is in our midst. He is and ever shall be.